today I'm going to show you what my practice journal looks like. All of the secrets will be revealed. Everyone keeps theirs a little bit differently, so how I keep my journal is not necessarily how you have to keep yours. This is just a suggestion. Also, I don't write in mine every single day, maybe every other day. For you, you might want to write in it every week or every month. This is just a way for you to keep track of your progress. Maybe this will help to keep you motivated. And of course, it's always good to write things down that you might forget later, such as notes to yourself for a specific measure and a specific piece. I don't really like to clutter up my sheet music with too many notes. I do take notes in my sheet music, but I would prefer to write it down in this notebook and go back and look at that later. For example, I need to relax my thumb and think about breathing in this specific measure of that specific piece. Having it down in a notebook where I can go back and I can review my notes on that day's practice and what I learned that day, um, it just helps so much. So hopefully today's video helps. Let's get started. I'm gonna have to figure out a way to show you what I wrote down. I'm not sure how this is gonna work yet because I I don't think you can see anything right now. I don't think so, so I'm gonna figure this out. Okay guys, I hope this works and I hope that you can see everything okay. I basically divide my practice time up into three big sections. If I practiced a lot more orchestra music, then I would um, include a fourth section. But for now, the first one is my warm-ups, my exercises, all of that. The second one, um, etudes and Bach. I group both of those together. And then my third one um, is repertoire. I am working on more pieces than just the Schumann, but I didn't really bother writing anything else about those other pieces. So underneath warm-ups, I write down every exercise that I do that day. So for example, today was my shifting exercise, my circle exercise, and my vibrato exercise. Now under each of these, I write my notes. So for the shifting exercise, I need to relax my thumb more. I'm probably not going to remember that tomorrow unless I write it down today. And tomorrow I need to practice with drone. I didn't have time to do that today, so just making a note to myself for that. The next one, circle exercise, I need to drop my shoulders and breathe, um, check my elbow halfway through. Uh, vibrato exercise, allow for more release. Um, tomorrow, apply to um, C sharp major scale. And um, some of these things uh, you may not understand or <laughs> probably not many people would understand my notes, but they make sense to me. So whatever you have to write down to understand um, what you mean, then that's that's what's important. In my second section, my etude right now, technically it's a caprice, but I treat it like an etude. So Piatti number 12 measures one through 10. Um, I am not ready to play it up to tempo yet, even though I keep wanting to and trying to, but I need to stop it. So writing a note to myself, play from string or start from string, really, really important. Um, relax instantly after each chord, uh, limit amount of bow, you know, just things that make sense to me. Bach, Prelude, Suite 4, stop playing so far out in the bow, measure 75 and measure 76. So don't be afraid to, you know, call out certain measures, um, get really detailed, and, you know, encourage yourself. Like today, it was much more relaxed than it was yesterday, so I'll write that down. Um, there's progress right there. Tomorrow, I want to record it to check phrasing choices. Repertoire for the Schumann Concerto um, in A minor, Movement 2. Uh, so here, you know, beware of triplets breaking the texture, so don't let those pop out. More delicate phrase endings, and then, you know, things that you need to work on and that maybe you're not happy about that day, but um, things that will get better with time, so double stops. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I do hope that it helped. If you have any additional comments or questions, put those in the comment section below. As always, love what you do, practice well, share it with others, and stay tuned for next week's video.